So you want to live by the beach, but you're not exactly sure where you would like to live. Well, today I am going to be discussing Melbourne Beach, one of the nicest non-touristy beaches on the east coast of Florida, and going over the pros and cons of living there so that you can decide if this is the beach town for you. Melbourne Beach is located just 30 minutes south of Cocoa Beach and is quite the little hidden paradise on the east coast of Florida. In fact, it is actually the longest beach in the state of Florida. It's a part of the Barrier Island and it's in between the Atlantic Ocean and the Indian River. Right here is what we call inland, and the closest inland cities are Melbourne and Palm Bay. There's also a lot of rich history in Melbourne Beach, being the oldest beach community in Brevard County. So today I am going to give you the top four pros and the top four cons to living in Melbourne Beach. So you'll be able to hear the good, the bad, and the ugly, so you can decide whether this area may be a good fit for you. Starting off with the pros. Pro number one, Melbourne has, in my opinion, the prettiest and most relaxing beaches in all of Rivard County. So if you are someone who loves to go to the beach, maybe you're an avid swimmer or like to surf, Melbourne Beach will be a great spot for you. You can also spot dolphins in the ocean quite frequently. The other day I was showing a client a beachside condo via video and I was looking out the balcony and spotted three dolphins swimming around. There was a surfer close by just hanging out on their board watching them as well. It was a really beautiful sight to see. The shoreline is 45 miles long. You can most certainly count on having your own space when you go to the beach and relax. I remember we were up in Virginia Beach for a work trip a couple of years ago and I went and sat on the beach. Let's say 30 minutes later, a big family came and took a spot right next to me and I got to listen to a bunch of kids arguing the whole time because the beach was packed and there was nowhere else for me to move. Here in Melbourne Beach, you can count on that never happening to you. There are many access points to the beach along the main road here, so no matter where you live, you'll always be close to beach access. And of course, if you live in any of the condos or houses along this road, you'll get your own private entrance to the beach. There are also quite a few beachside parks. My favorite is Ocean Park, which has sand volleyball courts, bathrooms, and shaded tables to sit and have lunch. I also like how close it is to restaurants so you can have a midday lunch or grab some ice cream at Sundays. Right at the most south end of Melbourne Beach is Sebastian Inlet State Park. It's a really cool and beautiful state park with beautiful blue water and where you can go camping, surfing, go fishing on one of the two jetties, go swimming, go snorkeling, or scuba diving. Pro number two, Melbourne Beach also lines the Indian River, so it's a great spot to live for all the boaters out there. Whether you'd like to go boating, go fishing, kayaking, or take a jet ski, there's plenty of fun to be had on the Indian River. There are plenty of places to store your boat, or there are access ramps to let out your boat. There is plenty of opportunity to purchase a home, either riverfront or canal front, so you can head out on the boat easily. Manatees and dolphins can easily be found in the Indian River, which is always a fun and beautiful sight to see. From May through November, you will have the opportunity to see the bioluminescence in the river, which is always really cool. You can hop on a kayak or on a boat at night when the conditions are good to see the water and you can see the water glow up. It's really cool. Also, if you live on the river or canal, when dolphins swim by, you can see the bioluminescence and it's a stunning sight to see. Pro number three, all the public schools zoned for Melbourne Beach are A-rated according to the National Center for Education Statistics. The elementary school is called Gemini, the middle school is Herbert Hoover, and the high school is Melbourne High. Pro number four on our list is that there are two golf courses in Melbourne Beach, making it a great spot for avid golf lovers. Spedzard Holland Golf Course is in North Melbourne Beach and was designed by legendary Arnold Palmer Enterprises. The golf course is a par 67 executive course. The Aquarina Beach and Country Club is a luxury residential community and is the only barrier island ocean to river gated residential community and features pristine beaches, an 18 hole golf course, an expansive dock providing access to the Indian River. There are also oceanfront homes, condos, spacious riverfront single family homes, and 18 neighborhoods of villas, townhomes, condos, and single family homes. Next, I am going to move on to the cons, but real quick, I'm Rachel Langley, a licensed real estate agent 
here in the Space Coast. And if this is your first time to the channel, we talk all things living in the Space Coast and what it's like to live here. So make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit that little bell so you can be notified every time we drop a new video. And if you're interested in moving here, whatever your real estate needs are, please reach out. You can call, email, DM, or text us, AM or PM, weekday or weekend. We got your back when it comes to moving to the Space Coast. Okay, con number one. This may be a con or pro, depending on what you would like to use your property for. But in Melbourne Beach, there are no restrictions on rentals for single family homes that are not in an HOA within the town limits. So you can rent your property out daily as a short-term rental as you wish as long as you get the license from the town. Now, in the unincorporated areas, county requires rentals to be three month minimums unless you are east of A1A, which is that beach side strip. The reason this is a con is because traditionally, Melbourne Beach has always been a quiet small town with the occasional tourist visiting. More tourists tend to stay within the Cape Canaveral and Cocoa Beach area. Many locals do not like that Melbourne Beach does not have stricter restrictions because they don't want too much turnover in the area. Now, I know this can be a pro for a lot of people who plan to only come down for the winters and then want to rent out in the summertime or may have plans during their retirement to travel and would like the ability to make the extra income while they are away. If that's the case, you should look for a single family home within the town limits. Many condos or HOAs require at least one to three month minimum on rentals. And like I mentioned earlier, in unincorporated, you have to rent out at a minimum of 90 days if you are a single family home, unless you are on that east side of A1A. As a real estate agent who's knowledgeable in rental restrictions, I can guide you to properties that will work for what your planned rental use is for the property. Con number two, Melbourne Beach outside of the town line and into the unincorporated area can be pretty secluded. There are gas stations, there is a Publix and restaurants. But other than that, it can be a 20 to 30 minute drive just to go to Walmart or school. Depending where you live in the unincorporated area, you'll be looking at a 20 to 30 minute drive to Walmart, Home Depot, and big store shopping. A1A, the main road, is mostly a two-lane road. So if you get stuck behind a garbage truck or a school bus, it can take a lot longer. The closest hospital is anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes away. Again, South Melbourne being farther away. Many people love that Melbourne Beach is secluded and doesn't have a ton of commercial stores. So those type of people are the ones who live in Central and South Melbourne Beach. All right, con number three, hurricanes. Hurricane season runs from June to November. Historically, the Space Coast hasn't been hit as hard as other areas, and we usually are downgraded to a tropical storm by the time we get hit. However, because Melbourne Beach is on the barrier island, directly on the Atlantic Ocean, anytime there is an incoming named hurricane and there is an evacuation order, you are supposed to shelter inland. Many people stay if it's a low category storm, but just know it, you stay at your own risk and the emergency rescue will not come out and help you until the storm passes. Many of us have hurricane checklists and kits so as long as you are prepared there typically isn't too much to worry about. Last but not least, con number four. There are not a lot of job opportunities in Melbourne Beach. There are a few factors that contribute to that. First is the size of the town. As a small community, Melbourne Beach doesn't have the same range of industries and businesses that you would find in larger cities. This limits the number of job openings and career options available within the town. Melbourne Beach does not have a significant presence of large corporations, educational institutions, technology companies, or other major employers. This means there are fewer high paying or specialized job opportunities in the town. Many residents of Melbourne Beach commute to nearby cities such as Melbourne or Palm Bay, which can be anywhere from 20 to 40 minutes of a commute away. Patrick Space Force Base is about a 30 minute commute and Kennedy Space Center is about a one hour away. Melbourne Beach is a great location for retirees, someone who works remotely, someone who could work in hospitality, or doesn't mind the commute to Melbourne or Palm Bay. Well, there you have it. I hope this helped you get an understanding of Melbourne Beach a little more. It's a great location for someone looking for a laid back lifestyle. If you are looking for the small town Beach Five, 
but want to be a little closer to shopping or closer to a job opportunity, then certainly look into North Melbourne Beach, Indian Harbor Beach, Indian Atlantic, and Satellite Beach. Thank you for watching and hey, please hit the subscribe button, click that little bell. That way you can get notified every time we make a new video. Please let me know in the comments any questions you may have about Melbourne Beach or the Space Coast, and please reach out to me. I've got your back when it comes to moving to the Space Coast. I'll see you on the next one.